Have you ever wished if you had a grocery list before you went to the store? If the answer is yes, then you can solve this problem just by creating a database to manage, to manage this problem for you. So, you gotta build a database with our big shopping list, okay? Alright. Okay. Here, this is our database built already. I'm gonna show you how it works. Then I'll walk you through how to build this database one by one. Here we have um, the table for the items that we will be like we would like to buy from the store. We have um, two days ago the garlic and the quantity is $20.20. 20. Um, the total price 20 and um, price per item is a dollar. We can add more, say, uh, pizza. Also input uh, an item using this form. This is what we're going to be using. So let's put in another form today. Say mango. This is what we're going to be doing so that you have it already and have it printed out. You can print it out to pages, four pages, and you will have your list already. You can also just print this out and you have a table. You go to the store, you just go boom, 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 you get out from the store. So let's build in a new database for this uh, to manage this kind of problem that we have. So go here, new, blank desktop database, grocery. We 
you're gonna use, need this and leave it as the way it is. Just add item ID, the name. Oh, sorry. Let's insert in a uh, row here for the date. Okay, yeah. Then here, the quantity. Total price. Format this data type date shall test this is a number just as a currency let's save this save and close dark open it again go to design view this is going to be a calculated view but Price divided by 20. That's the formula. It's not gonna let us, so we're gonna insert the row, make here a calculated field, and the formula is price divided by quantity. Click OK. Delete this. Save this database and it's ready for use. Here, we'll, the format will be a currency. And save and it's ready for use. Now, let's put in here today garlic bread. Guess how much the price per item is going to be? Five dollars. Save this. Close. Now you can use this for the shopping list. You know, close this. Now let's build in a form. Go to form design. Let's put in an image for the background, which I did. I use a Microsoft PowerPoint for that. This one is going to be correct. View and we're ready to put in this stuff into the form date right here in the corner. We got it right now. Now let's add the little
right now we have our form already. I love you.
save uh, let's input in something donuts to the shop or we can print this out take it to the shop and we have it right there in front of us let's use this to input in another $5 per each, we save this and we closed all. Let's open our report. Now we have our Chinese food quantity of $30, $15, and we have 